think I'm using is a Salah size 5 and it's a double and you can tie this fly in a single or whatever you like even on a tube and certainly the bigger sizes the thread I'm using is a uni thread in 8 in black and you simply start at the eye and then come down at least 45mm from the eye and then we tie in some oval silver tinsel and this is number 14, this is a veneered tinsel and uh, be small if it was a uni or any other company but number 14 anyway and then we simply tie it on the top or catch it in I don't mind doing that because that's strong it's a flat surface on the, the double so it'll not pull out and I just wind this down until the thread's in line with the points of the hook that's fine and then one, two, three, four, five, four or five, depends, it's up to yourself. And then bring the oval tinsel between the hooks. Now obviously I'll wind down the way. Nice and tight. Bring it underneath and catch. Now a third the length of the body, a third of it is an orange holographic. Or you could use orange floss, it's up to yourself. Now I'm taking the thread up to that point and then bring in the oval tinsel back down and this here will tuck it in and separate the tag from the rib now for the tail which is optional it doesn't normally have a tail but I'm going to put some flora fibre and this is hot orange just a few fibres, don't need a lot catch it down and then cut it the full length of the body slight angle get that up for your next fly now you can taper fibre, which is always a good thing to do, it just doesn't look too good when straight. To come in with your your scissors, trim along the top. Let me side look to see what it looks like. That'll, that should do it. That should not too bad. If they're different lengths of fibre they swim better. There you go. Once you're happy, then tidy up. Just bring your thread up. Tie in these ends. Just keep them on top. Take your time. Make sure they're well tied down. You get one or two going astray, but don't worry about it. You can always trim them away. I feel this just makes for a stronger fly if you do this. And then come back down. It's come down to the point where the orange is going to start. Now, the orange holographic, this is from Vineyards, and this is a wide orange holographic. It's a lovely colour, it's really deep. And then, on the way down to the tail, and tag, tie in your holographic tinsel up against your tag and tail and then bring your thread up and then wind up cross your thread two or three times to tie in now I've cut this the full length of the body now you can quickly take your thread up secure that in and come back down you don't have to be too fussy at that end because I'm going to put some dubbing on and this is ice dub, this is UV black nice colour, you could mix this easily with seals fur or whatever you want whatever material you like especially the bigger flies you may be better to use uh, much coarser, heavier fibre even like glister or something like that if you want the blue you can just mix in some UV blue just build up a nice shape in the, the body don't be too tight with it and then bring your rib up through now if I spin a tinsel rib or a tinsel body all the way up I'd be using wire instead of the noble tinsel but because it's got a bit of dubbing at the top that gives the tinsel a lot of grip and makes a difference Just cross your thread do three turns or more wax on your thread Especially these tying off points. 
push a bit more grip and then remove the excess. Come in with your velcro, bring out some, some of your bubbin. Just makes the body a bit, a bit better. And when you wind in a spear hackle, this is a blue eared pheasant dyed black. Quite a long fibre. You can have it shorter if you want. And tie it up to yourself at length if you want it. Now I'm going to tighten by the tip. Cross your thread, pull back the tip. Again, make sure the wax is on your thread. This will give you plenty of grip when you're winding your hackle. Take away the point. And then simply do one turn in front of the other, drawing back the fibres as you go. So watch your fingers at this point, especially on these hooks. Now, depending how heavy you want to fly, it depends on how many turns you want. Now I would say that's fine. Now you could practically fish this fly as it is just now. Just tie off and you have a fly that swims extremely well in the water. You could just put some either some jungle cork on it and a hack on the front. And make for a nice spider spay, as I call them. Spider being there's no wing on it. Now, just have a look at the hackle the way it's sitting. Looks really nice. I'm just going to flatten it slightly a wee bit on the top, just for the wing. There you go, that's good. Now, for the front hackle, I'm going to use a, it's a Chinese cock. This is quite a, a dark blue, it's a kingfisher blue. You could use a lighter blue if you wish. Take one of the hackles off, and we tie this in by the tip, and then fold it back three or four turns down, three or four turns back up. Keeping the thread tight, you can break off the tip and put it out of the way. Draw back the fibres, and then probably this by this hackle, I'm looking three to four turns. It's not very thick. Uh, Depends on the fibre. The fibre's got a good, it's quite heavy, and then you can, you need less turns. That's, that should do the job. Cross your thread, 90 degree bend into the stem, and then trim away the excess. Come in, wax your thread again, make sure there's plenty of wax on it. And nice and tight. Let's tidy up. Now for the wing, I'm just going to use some, this is some uh, silver fox, it's quite nice, this is a really nice soft and straight fibre, this one, now sometimes you get them a bit crinklier, this is a nice one. It's been well brushed out, I comb it out using the dog comb, so I get it nice and straight and clean. Now, length. And the amount you want to put on is up to yourself. Uh, I like it to be at least longer than the, the spay, spay hackle. So you get a nice taper in it. Onto the top, a good three or four turns to hold. Make sure there's wax on your thread. Tighten up, and then come in, trim away the excess. Make sure your scissors are well sharp, uh, or sharp anyway. And then again, tidy up. Make sure you tie in the ring. Bring the thread up to a point there. A wee brush just to get it to see how it's sitting. Looking okay. Now you could add a wee bit of flash into the wing. 
Now this is called Blue Ice, and it's Angel Hair. It only went three or four strands. You don't want it longer than the wing, when it's shorter. A couple either side. Come away. And again, come in. Go your brush and just draw it into the fibres. Now you could finish again, you could finish it that, or you could put on jungle crop. Now two, two small eyes. Now, there's, just to give you an idea, because I get asked this quite a lot. The top eye here has got a split. Now I'd rather just leave it than trying to repair that, because once that's in the water it pulls together and swims with the rest of the fly. If there's a lot of splits then fine. I would think about maybe repairing it, but most times I just leave it. And the two eyes will line up, remove or draw back the fibres I don't need. Get the length, come in. Make sure there's wax on your thread again. See how the jungle crop's sitting, it looks okay. Fold back these ends for security. And then nice and tight. Form your head using the thread. And then you can break away or cut away these waste fibers of the jungle cock. And then what finish. Now when I'm work finishing times I'll just I'll place the thread turns just to help form the head if I feel if there's any wee bits I don't like, I can cover with the thread turn. Remove your thread. And then that's you ready to varnish. Wee bits of wax here, just rub it with your fingers and take it away. And there you go. And then that's you, that's it finished. Completely, don't need to do any more. And there we are. And that's a great colour combination. Fits extremely well in Norway. And in the Canat space style, it certainly swims extremely well in the water. As I said, as you can see, the, that jungle croc eye has got a split in it. But once that's in the water, it draws it, pulls it in. And basically, it's nothing wrong with it. And so don't worry about an odd split in the jungle croc. And there we are.